Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you are all well. Without further ado, I will start today's video. Canada's Got Talent is officially in full force on City TV, and America's Got Talent fans noticed a very familiar face, Annika. If you haven't seen it yet, the rock and roll singer recently auditioned for the series and earned the host's golden buzzer. For those who may not remember, Annika first appeared on America's Got Talent in 2021 singing Piece of My Heart by Janis Joplin. She competed until she was eliminated in the live quarterfinals. Although some may have been upset to be eliminated so soon, Annika was just happy to be involved. Since her passions lie in musical connection and connecting with people, she plans to incorporate both of those things into her journey on CGT. Why Canada's Got Talent is so special with a story about inner confidence and a passion for music, realtor-turned-singer Annika returned to the Got Talent stage for CGT 2023. Since the singer is originally from St. John, New Brunswick, she joked that it really seems like I had to almost go all around the world to come back to Canada. In her CGT audition, Annika got candid about her childhood, which isn't always easy for abuse survivors. The singer chose to talk about what happened to me as child, as a message of solidarity with all abuse survivors and victims, current and past. It sort of never leaves you, so sometimes you think nobody really understands, but in actual fact, a lot of people understand and a lot of people are very successful and have been through crappy childhoods," Annika said. The singer later explained that she had to connect with herself spiritually and emotionally to be able to share her story. She believes that part of her healing journey is acceptance of life, that's why I came out with it. I've had intimate conversations with a lot of people over the years about their struggles with abuse or addiction," she said. I've heard all of these stories, and I'm sharing and the more that we share with each other, the easier it gets, the easier it gets for both of us. The singer explained that a big part of acceptance is realizing that one must let go of any bad feelings they have harbored against their abuser, she's still a real estate agent? In current day, Annika still works as a real estate agent. While interviewing her, she actually was in work clothes, on her way to renovate one of her clients' homes. In current day, this is clearly still a passion of hers. Real estate was was really the optimal choice for me as an artist, because you can do it all over the world if you want to," she said. However, I'll probably be hanging it up for a couple of years, I can take a hiatus or sabbatical from being a realtor for a couple of years. She hopes to be in a position where she can pursue music for a while before having to turn back to real estate, but eventually she hopes to find her way home. If given the chance, and funds, she would love to buy a lot of land to build miniature homes for people in need, my ambition is not to be a rock star, in the sense that I'm looking at it simply more strictly for the money and the fame and the fortune, it's not my ambition at all," she said. My ambition is to put on a great show with really awesome production in order to make some funds so that I can help some people out that really need helping. Annika relives her golden buzzer moment. Obviously, Annika's life has changed since her golden buzzer moment aired on City TV. That moment, where Lindsay L. gave her the golden buzzer, is understandably one that Annika will never forget. She was inspired because we connected on a personal level, with our stories and our childhood and our musicianship, Annika said. When she came around the corner, because my hair sometimes hides my periphery, and I didn't see her until she was like, sort of there. And I went, what? And then she goes down the stairs and in my head, I'm thinking, no way. This is not happening. But but it is happening. All in all, Annika described the moment as surreal. Once she heard the button trigger the confetti, she realized that it wasn't a joke and was seriously happening. I really needed that, because I'd had such a crappy week," she said. That golden buzzer was like, yeah, I couldn't even believe it, so I will never forget that moment of the day I die. Now, Annika is preparing for her next round of the competition, the live shows. Although she couldn't tell us anything about her plan, she explained that CGT has treated her like absolute royalty, although Annika won over America on AGT. She's very excited to get her name out there in her home country. Canada's Got Talent airs on City TV on Tuesdays at 8/7C. 
Fans can vote for Annika to remain in the competition once the season's semifinals begin. If you have information on the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get more information videos, and share your friends have a good day.